Welcome, Jamie Gibson from Gibson Online Music School. It's wonderful to have you here. Um, and um, so today we're do doing a quick interview about um, Jamie's experience using Tom Play in, with his music students. And yes. um, I'm really excited to find out about your background and about your experience using Tom Play at your school. Welcome, Jamie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Julia. I'm looking forward to chatting about it. So, um, how did you first experience Tom Play? So when was the first time you actually um, came, came about it? What's the story yeah. and what's your story? Sure, sure. So my background is uh, in education in schools. So I've been a director of performing arts in schools in Sydney, London and Warsaw over in Poland. Um, and in those times, I always oversaw large teams of peripatetic instrumental teachers. Um, and uh, over the last uh, year, during the pandemic, I was looking at other ways of doing teaching and I was teaching online and I came across the Music Teachers Board uh, in the UK and their online exams. And uh, as soon as I started to use those, I saw the little links across to the Tom Play pieces. That's right. Yeah. And I found that so useful. Uh, in fact, I'll show you what the syllabus looks like. This is my school, my online school. Great. And uh, this is the MTB um, syllabus for grade two alto sax. And it's set up and, and laid out just like any of the other exam boards like ABRSM, Trinity, or back here in Australia, the AMEB. But what I really liked was the, the linking through to the Tom Play repertoire. And when I'm, when I'm teaching online, I use uh, this syllabus um, mainly because all the resources are online, which means my students and myself can be in different countries. And I do teach students from Australia over in Hong Kong. I teach students in the US. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, using this. And it's so good to be able to teach someone in another country and they just click on the link. Like for example, Stand By Me, one of my classics for grade two, and for it to bring up the uh, Tom Play link right away. That's, that's brilliant. So um, it's great that you're, you're working with the MTB syllabus. Um, we have a close collaboration um, with MTB, um, as, as you said, with Tom Play. Um, I was just wondering, when you looked into different digital solutions for music scores, um, did you also consider other apps or digital solutions? And why did you choose Tom Play in the end? Yeah, absolutely. So I've, I, I love my technology. My, uh, my Bachelor of Music was a double major in music technology and performance. Mm -hmm. So um, for years, I've been gigging with iPads on stands and I've been using lots of different uh, products. What, what I found is that most of them are, are great as an accompaniment or for the music. But when you try to go any deeper than that, especially as an educator, it gets really tricky. Um, what I found uh, with Tom Play, what I really like is if I'm working on a tricky section with a, an exam piece, we can loop that section. We can slow that section down. I can even go in and annotate the score and it will save those comments on there for the next lesson. And then the, the icing on the cake, which is absolutely amazing, is the recording feature. Being able to have students record themselves with Tom Play and then send it to me during the week to have a look at their progress. I find in the classroom, I'm always looking for self-directed learning and Tom Play has really helped my students to, to do self-directed learning between classes. That's, that's brilliant. So you said that you share annotations and audio recordings with your students. So does that, do you use only the Tom Play app to be able to do that? Or yes. do you, okay, so that, that I, works well for you and your students? Yeah, there's only two bits of software I'm really using for running my whole school these days. One is my music staff, which is for all the back end. And I, and I really put a lot of links in there to the Tom Play repertoire. And then it's Tom Play. Now, if we went back 10 years ago, I used to have four bits of software that I was using to get those similar sort of skills. And I would never try to get my students to get that same amount of software working in their home. Um, I think parents these days want to be able to close the door to the office and let their child practice with the teacher and not have to worry about all the IT involved. That's, that's right. So um, the setup process of like setting up Tom Play for yourself and all of your students, how, how did that work for you? Yeah, really easily. Um, so I jumped in first and got myself a license and couldn't believe how easy it was to use. So I quickly went to my uh, 
my students and spoke to their parents and said, we have to get this software. And I just made it compulsory for my, <laughs> my music school. Um, and really, I just had to send through the, uh, the email addresses and the instrument type because Tom Play set up the interface for all my students so that when they just downloaded the app and logged in right away, they're seeing the uh, 14,000 songs uh, arranged for their instrument. Oh, but by, by the way, we now have more than 25,000 uh, already. So yeah, I know, I know the catalog is growing. So, so every week, um, so this is just a fun fact, <laughs> every week we're adding, we're adding around 200 to 300 new scores to the catalog. So that's why um, it's been growing so fast from the beginning when you started using it. We were at around 14,000 and now we're at 25,000 different music scores on the catalog. So yeah, it's, uh, it's great. Wow. You know, the, the other thing I really like it, if, if I was to compare, like I grew up, I'm a classical clarinetist. Uh, and if I compare my learning, uh, you know, when, when I wanted to go up levels, if I wanted to go up through a more difficult repertoire, it was continuously different songs, different books. And one of the things I really like about Tom Plays, I'm noticing my students, especially my younger students, the pre-grade and grade one, are grabbing a piece that they like and they're doing the very easy version. Yeah. And then quickly progressing to the easy version and then to the intermediate, you know, and what I can see the one day they're going to get to the advanced and I'm seeing the progress a lot quicker. So I'm very excited about the next couple of years um, of, of progress from the students in my studio. That, that's just that's great that's just sparking an idea you could even do a little competition so um, because some, some sometimes students they think they're not able to play the higher level and you might be able to just uh, challenge them a little bit by saying I think you you you, you should try the the intermediate or the advanced one so yeah I mean that I, th I think that might work to be able to just see um, that you you're already able to do a lot more than you you think you can absolutely absolutely <laughs> Yeah. So what's the feedback from your students so far? Are they enjoying playing with Tom Play? Oh, absolutely. So yeah, the, the parents, the, the comments I'm getting mainly are along the lines of we're not having to hound or we're not having to push our child to practice. Um, and hey, we were all there. You know, you're a saxophonist and, and I'm a saxophonist. There's, there's times in our lives when we we're growing up when, you know, your parents would have to say, hey, you've got that exam coming up or that performance, you need to go. Um, what I'm hearing um, over the last 12 months, and that, that's, that's, that's what the time I've been using Tom Play for, is that parents are saying, my child is practicing, or I really like listening to them play with the backing tracks. And I'm asking my child to leave the door open when they practice because they want to hear that interaction between could be an orchestral score and, and the clarinet part, or it could be the, the lead piano line and a, and a rock band backing. It's, uh, it's, it's really good to hear that the, the product is having an effect on the household and the happiness of the household. That's, that's just, yeah, that's just wonderful. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can agree with that completely. Um, I mean, I played, I've played the saxophone for 25 years. I never really enjoyed practicing on my own at home. I always just like to just play in a big band or in a concert band, but never at home. And since I'm using Tom Play, I actually practice at home. My family is really surprised with me. They're like, what's going on? You've been playing for two hours now. This is very unusual. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So yeah, it's fun. It's the, fun. The other, the other thing that I think is amazing about it is like, you know, we, we have, you know, lots of uh, solo and duo gigs back here in Sydney at the moment because, um, you know, no, live bands aren't really happening so much at the moment, but there's smaller gigs. And when I turn up to a gig, I mean, this is what my stuff looks like. Um, I have apps with sheet music, backing tracks, plug into a speaker and you perform. And that's a professional setting. And, and I like that my students, when I'm zooming in and doing my online lessons with them, I see them having a similar setup. It's making them sort of, you know, grow up as a professional musician from a younger age. That's um, that's great, and I, I really like the fact that you're like um, you're so digitally advanced in your in your teaching. Um, would you also recommend Tom Play for music schools who are just starting out with the digital, like using all of those digital tools and moving over from paper scores to digital scores? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I was actually, I was on a conference call this week with um, some leaders in, in music education in Australia and uh, we had a little bit of free time. And so we were talking about new products that that's obviously 
the hot topic for the last year is what new music technology is there? How can we do studios easier? Um, and uh, there was another gentleman there and we were both saying how easy it is to use and how it's, it's so cutting edge that it's, it's, a lot of people don't know about it yet. And uh, on that conference call, there was probably 90% of the people hadn't heard of it, but as, they was, as we were talking, they're like, okay, we're gonna go sign up for that 14 day free trial. We need to, we need to see this. Sounds too good to be true. <laughs> that's brilliant. Thank you so much, Jamie. That's, um, that's great. So um, I guess just one final question. Um, so because I also play the saxophone and um, before we started recording this interview, we actually found out that we have the exact same model of saxophone. So we're like saxophone buddies. <laughs> <laughs> I would be really, really intrigued um, and really excited to find out what it's like to take a saxophone lesson um, with you online because I've personally never taken an online um, music lesson before um, and an online lesson using Tom Play that would be just uh, great to see what that's like. Awesome okay so the very first thing we do is I, I think it's really important to establish a goal so for today I'd like to take you through some grade two MTB saxophone repertoire um, I'll just share my screen again and then I might get you to share yours so mm -hmm. people can also see uh, how we go about this. So at the start of my lesson, uh, we always agree. So we're doing grade two. Um, I, as mentioned, I think it's really important at the start of a lesson for us to do some technical work. So at the bottom of this syllabus, there's a nice little link to the technical work and I've got it open just here. Now for today, I'm just going to ask, have you warmed up already? Um, yeah, I, I have pre previously, uh, previous to our call, Maybe just a little Good. bit. <laughs> so we won't worry about this right now. This is just what I would do in a normal lesson. I would go to grade two and we'd do a little bit of warm up, some articulation patterns. Uh, and then after that, I would get you to get the exact link to the piece we're going to do. Now for today, the one I'd like us to do is the Stand By Me uh, by Benny King. Um, and I've got it open just here. And the thing to take notice of is we want the easy to intermediate mm -hmm. short version. So I'll stop sharing now. Could you share at your end, just so we check we've got the same score? Yes. A little bit further. Ten. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's easy there intermediate short version. That's the one. Okay, so I'm just going to download that and be able to open the score straight away. What I'd like to do first is play it through for you. Now on my app, I've chosen to take off the saxophone part. So I just chuck click the audio and took the alto sax down. I'll be putting my own bit on top. I'm going to play through the verse into the chorus and then I'd like to hear your rendition of it. All right, cool. takes us up to bar number 20 so that's 8 to 20 could we get you to try that now okay let's um let's go Okay, so I, I was just saying that um, I think we should use the looping function and the tempo to go over bars 20 to 25. So, so let's start by picking a tempo. I'm thinking of about 95, if we could pull it back to 95. Yep, and then hit the loop button at the top right, there we go. And then we're going to put that over 20 to 25. Might make it 26 to finish the phrase. Yeah.
you so much, Jamie, for sharing all of these insights and for showing us um, how you use Tomplay at your music school. It was wonderful to have this little lesson with you. So thank you so much again. So now I guess it would be interesting for everyone watching to find out how they can contact you, maybe for a saxophone lesson or to find out more on how Tomplay works um, in a teacher-student way. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to uh, to share what I've learned with Tom Play with anyone who's interested in teaching online. And if they would like lessons or to discuss things further, the easiest way would be via my website, which has a contact page on it. And the web domain is gibsononlinemusicschool.com.au. Brilliant. So then, yeah, you have a contact form. That's brilliant. So anyone who would like to have the same great experience learning from Jamie, just, uh, yeah, go, go and contact Jamie. It's a wonderful, wonderful experience to be taught by you. So thank you so much again. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you again soon. So yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jamie. See you next time. Thanks, Julia.